Hi, I'm Elliot Callahan, pastry chef for Fannie Mae. We're going to talk about percentages on chocolate labels. Most of us probably remember the time when we went into the grocery store and chocolate was labeled either sweet or semi-sweet or bittersweet or bitter. This percentage is essentially uh, a new way of describing that same type of chocolate. 70% is generally going to be a bitter or bittersweet chocolate. Uh, something in the range of 60 is going to be semi-sweet and 50% is going to be uh, a sweet chocolate. That tells us how much overall cocoa product is in the chocolate bar. We know that chocolate is a blend of, of the cocoa moss, which is the ground up cocoa beans, the cocoa butter, which is extracted from the cocoa beans, and sugar to sweeten it. That number, that percentage, is the total amount of cocoa product in the chocolate bar. And that's a combination of both the cocoa moss and the cocoa butter. So if I have a, a bar that's 70%, then I know the other 30% is sugar. This rating system also applies to milk chocolate and to uh, white chocolate, although the numbers are always much, much lower for these types of chocolates because, uh, for example, in white chocolate, we know that there isn't any cocoa bean. There's just the cocoa butter, the sugar, uh, the milk solids. White chocolates tend to have about 33 to 35%, uh, and milk chocolates anywhere between like 35 and, and low 40s. So uh, some of these uh, numbers are very helpful for the consumer. Some are more helpful for the pastry chef, depending on the application. If I just decide to eat this chocolate bar, I know 70% is going to be bitter. But if I decide to use this chocolate bar uh, in brownies, that, that percentage will help to uh, indicate whether that chocolate's appropriate. So these numbers help give us an idea of the relative sweetness of the chocolate. But in the same way that wines uh, vary, I can have uh, a number of Chardonnays that t taste very different. It's true also with chocolate. So not every 70% is gonna taste exactly the same. Uh, the flavor is gonna be affected by uh, where the chocolate was grown and how it was harvested and roasted, and then also the combination of, of the cocoa butter and the cocoa moss in there. Thank you for joining us today in the Artisan Kitchen and our discussion on cocoa percentages. I'm Elliot Callahan. We'll see you next time.